Hello guys, this is Brian. Welcome to my quantum castle and laboratory. I wanted to do a quick video explaining the principles of observational dependency in QCraft. Observational dependency is the notion that uh, things like subatomic particles can have very different properties depending on if and how you observe them. So if you've been messing around with the mod at all, you may have encountered this item, quantum dust, and if you arrange quantum dust in the crafting grid like so, you can create a little something called essence of observation. And with essence of observation, you can create an observer dependent block. I think you guys will be able to figure out uh, the basics of this crafting recipe, but you can see that as I arrange these regular old Minecraft blocks, and I'm using wool as an example, that lets me make this thing called the observer dependent block. And if I place this in the world, I'm going to go ahead and place it up here so we can check it out from all sides and then delete this pillar. You'll see that how this block appears to us depends very much on where we are in the world when we observe it. I'll show you one other trick with these observer dependent blocks, which is if I go back and craft another one, if you leave, uh, you don't necessarily have to fill in every spot in the crafting grid. And so if you leave a spot blank, like I've done there, and then place that block in the world, you'll see that if you observe it from different angles, the block may not be there at all. Now you might ask, well, what can I do with this practically in the world? I'll show you one quick example. My castle has this drawbridge, which is just a plain old uh, drawbridge. But if I go over to the other side and look back, the drawbridge is gone and the entrance to the castle is replaced by this solid wall. So that's a little preview of what you can do. Uh, check it out for yourself and I'm going to see if I can't find a way back into my castle. 